It is huge. 25 pounds, one ounce six. Boom back way. Halibut on! Fish, mate. Second time mini one. <laughs> Good size of that. Welcome to a beautiful Norway. This is why we come to Norway. The size of its guts. He's full up on something. Thirty-five pound eleven. Whoa! Look at that. This is not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> Blonde. And it's a tea bag. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is just going to be an uh, end of year roundup and uh, a little giveaway, something I've never done before. Um, as you can see, I've got the uh, lead melting pot on the go. I'm going to make 10 7 ounce SKM grip leads and 10 8 ounce skm grip leads so uh, if you keep watching till the end of the video i'll give you a little way to uh, comment in the little comment section and i'll pick a, a win from that i don't know a week after christmas something like that but uh yeah this is just a little video uh just say thank you to everyone who watches the channel who subscribed and comments on my videos it's always nice to get a bit, bit of uh, interaction with uh, people who watch my videos uh the year on the whole i'd say it was all right it wasn't the best um a couple of uh things in my life that stopped me well not stopped me that restricted my time obviously i've changed jobs and i've had my daughter but uh we managed two pbs which happened at the start of the year, funny enough. I think I caught two PBs on the 2nd of January, this uh, 2022. And that was a 10 pound, I think it was 10 pound six foam back ray from the yard and a 25 pound one ounce conga from the yard also. Uh, I'm gonna do a little montage of some fishing picks. Oh no, I had a third PB, uh, Bass on a lure. Uh, 60, 60, oh, I can't remember, mid-60s, I think, but I weighed it, it was like six and a half pounds or something like that, which is a PB uh, Barcelona lure for me, so three PBs. Um, but yeah, I'll do a little montage of loads of picks, um, which I'll put at the end with a bit of uh, funky music of some sort. Uh, but yeah. Average year, average year. I think I could probably count on for for bait fishing. I could probably count on both hands how much bait fishing I done. Lures in summertime, I went absolutely mad. I was out all the time, um, which was grand. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, along with the weird, let's have. Uh, S K M. So just an S, a K, and an M to be entered in for the weights, and along with I don't know, whatever your biggest fish of the year was, or maybe next year's targets. Put that in the comments as well. We'll have a bit of a chit chat back and forth and see how we get on. Um, while we're making leads, I run through the setup quickly to lengthen the video up a bit. I'll bring you back now. So this is the setup. That's just a six kilo uh, propane canister, regulator on it to a hose to a cast iron stove. The uh, moles are just warming up there. A chunk of lead melting away. These are two uh, leads I made before my mum and dad come over for a cup of tea. So just heating everything back up. But yeah, if you. Uh, Comment SKM guys, you'll be added into the draw and I'll uh, pick a, a person from that and I'll message you on YouTube or whatever and then you can uh, 
win some nice little leads. But that's what they are. Bit of a dirty, dirty lead that one. Because didn't scoop the slag off properly. But there we go. Yep, 10 7 ounce, 10 8 ounce. Make sure you uh, comment, guys, and you'll be entered in. Right, so this is the process. I've got the garage door open, some welding gauntlets, safety glasses. You always, always have a bit of lead popping at you if you're using old scrap. I've been using lead pipes and I always have bits pop at me, so always have safety glasses on. Right, so I'm not sure if you can see well, um, but there's a slag on top of the, the lead. Uh, I think you can just about see it at the top there. Scrape that off with a spoon. Oh, I've just flipped it all back in like a plonker. This is an old setup. A setup my dad used to use when he was into fishing many, uh, many moons ago. Right, almost done, one more scoop. I can feel my uh, hand getting warm, you know. That's why it's always important to have gloves on. Right, so that's, call that a slag pot as well. Moulds are heated up lovely. Nice and warm. So what we do now is we get our little prongs that go for the holes. There's one. Two. Three. Job done. And we'll do one more slag run. I don't know what lead I've used here, but or where it's from. It's not from a church roof, I swear. Um, but it is so dirty. That'll do us. Let's have a pull. I've got it's just loads of bits of lead folded up plop that in let that melt and then these should be ready to come off by now so just pull these out Seven. Oh, look at that. Shiny. Put a few more of them up and call it a night. But yeah, that's it, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hope you all had a fantastic 2022. And an even better. 2023 that's it for me i'll see you all out on the rocks cheers sorry guys forgot to mention as well for the giveaway um you're gonna have to be a uk resident or somewhere in the uk because it's gonna cost me a bomb to send them overseas but uh yeah cheers for watching guys and roll the fishing montage